We are not starting the vlog in the car like we usually do, but it's a five below event day and it's been a minute and I am so excited because it's the Halloween one with all the cute little Halloween minis. Some of this squad looks like it is a re-release, so auto is going to be there. I'm probably going to buy an auto because I want to see if it's exactly the same as the previous auto. This one. So this was the auto that came out last year, and he's really cute, but I, I want another one. I just want to see if it's a different shade of black, and I won't really be able to do that without having mine with me, so I'm just going to grab another one. And I want the Plague Doctor because I guess some Five Belows last year got the plague doctor but i feel like they switched up and like maybe those were supposed to come out this i don't really understand but i don't have the plague doctor so i would like the plague doctor and those are the only two off the top of my head that i want um so we're gonna go and look at the whole entire squad though before we do that i'm going to trim my nails i went and saw my girl ash nico if you guys follow me on tiktok you're getting spammed with literally the best concert footage aside from the singing in the background um but the best concert footage that you've ever seen in your life because i was literally barricade right there she sang eye to eye with me for like a second even though in the actual literal moment that it happened i thought that it was like 10 seconds but then when i watched the video i was like wow that was <laughs> not as long as i thought that it was yeah so i did my nails extra long for that i thought that we were doing like a one-on-one -on -one meet and greet sort of situation but then when I got the emails and saw that it was just a group photo I was like oh so I'm gonna trim these because I do have an office job and I think I would be okay with this length if it was more of a natural color but since they are this vibrant blue I just feel like it's a bit much so I'm gonna trim my nails and then we're gonna get in the car and go so it's 10 20 and go get some Halloween squish. Okay, voice over Olivia for just a second. Um, I will say there were a lot of people kind of hovering towards the front of the store when I was filming this. So I didn't bother taking out each individual one because they actually had them in their shippers. Sometimes the store will just throw them in a bin. So it's a lot easier to actually show you guys the squish and the tag. So instead, I kind of just went through and showed you guys the tags. I also completely missed showing Joldy's tag. I, I don't know what happened there, but you guys can see Joldy right there. It's the purple bat. Um, I'm really sorry uh, to all the Joldy supporters out there. I, I literally mean no disrespect, but I got some footage of the squish, so that's what you guys are going to see first, obviously. I just bought mystery ones of these. I have to have Toge. I'm gonna buy Toge. I don't know if there's Mega Me. Mega both. Mega both. I don't know. I don't know. Then I found some of the leftover bum bums. These are the breakfast ones uh, that were also released at Target, but they only had three left over. Still fun to see. Also love all the Halloween stuff that they had out. It made me so happy. Halloween's my favorite time of year. These stickers were really tempting. Did not buy them. The other tempting thing were these mystery Sanrio ghost costume ones. 
so stinking cute, but I have so many packs left of the original ones, so I didn't get any. Okay, back in the car. So I guess Five Below opened at 10, not 11. My bad. And I got a little inside scoop. Just a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit. The Plague Doctor was not a part of the shippers. So they were individual boxes and my location got about 24 of these. So if you guys want the Plague Doctor, hopefully you guys got it. Um, I was freaking out because I checked all the shippers and there wasn't a Plague Doctor in them. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's because they opened at 10, blah, blah, blah. But they had them in a barrel up at the front. So I don't know. I, I guess it's gonna be like uploaded too late to like really help you guys. But I mean, if you guys are still looking when you watch this video, look in other spots aside from the shippers. And I guess some stores put this one out before today. Like our other like local store, I guess, put these out by themselves before today. So like they don't have any more of these. I don't know, but I got the three, I guess, that I wanted. I picked one up for Miranda. She's not feeling too well, um, so I grabbed her one, and I'm very happy with what I got. I will show you guys everything back in the office per usual. Hi, guys. I am back. It is much later. It is almost 8 o'clock, which is crazy, but had a very, very busy, eventful day, spent some time with some family, and now I am back home to wrap up this Five Below event and show you guys all my pickups, which I'm very excited about. First of all, because you guys already saw the Plague Doctor, this was the one that I was most excited about because I have never seen this squish. I know this came out last year and was very, very popular at like Kroger affiliates and stuff like that, but I had never been to a Kroger until this year. This is Aldrin and this is their bio. Sorry, it's really dark. I will say, I feel like the squish are softer to the touch now. I think they changed like the fabric. I also feel even with the detail, like the embroidery and stuff, something is still like kind of cheap about them and I don't really know what's going on. I feel like it's kind of like an in-between situation, but this one has embroidery details on the belly, on its little beak here. There is some detailing on the hat as well. Very, very nice, very, very cute. Again, very soft, but this is one that I've wanted for years, so I'm very happy I was able to get the opportunity to buy it. I got another little coffin. Now, I already have a coffin. Oh, it's like buried up in there. Oh, okay, yeah, so there's definitely some different qualities to this, because I wanted to compare. This one is Alva. So here is Alva. Alva has an embroidered little skull and crossbones, an embroidered um, spider web, and it has the white border around it. It's a little like tombstone, a little gravestone here. Here is the bio and all the info, which the inside of this tag is different than, which would factor into like the different box because this one has like the big picture and everything. And this one has the small picture. What does this say on the back? 2022. See, this one says 2022 on it. This one says 2023. We got little Alva here. Super cute. Love. And I got Alva at a Squishmallow Meat. Mine is a five inch. This one is the four and a half. And you can see some of the differences in the details. Like the eyes are a lot closer and I feel like bigger on this one than this one is. And the border on this one is embroidered versus this one is like the fabric. So I think I prefer how mine looks, but I love having the two of them together. I think that they look really cute together in the end. Um, and this one was from Mexico. So I thought that that was a cool little addition to it. So the tags are obviously going to be different. Similar in color. Um, mine is darker than the new one though. I had to get the auto because I told you guys I wanted to get another auto to see if they were similar or not. And I could tell instantly off the bat that this was a much much darker like this is a pure black auto i am kind of obsessed and there is some differences so this is the auto from last year i, I picked up two because i got one for moanda this is last year's version and this is this year's version 
This year's is a much, much darker black and the scythe is different as well. So this one is more of a muted brown. This one's more of a brighter brown. This one is an embroidered blade. This one is a sparkly blade. So two completely different styles. This one has a much stronger embroidered outline, I feel like. It's a lot more noticeable than this one. Texture wise, this one is a lot softer. And then tag wise, it's gonna be the same thing as like the Plague Doctor. So this is this year's auto tag and this is last year's auto tag. Let me know what you guys think about the subtle differences. I like it because if it's a character that you really like, like Otto, I think that they are different enough that you can have both. But obviously my preference is probably going to be last year's. If you guys have picked up some from like last year and stuff, let me know what you guys think. If you guys did the same thing to like compare. Also, the four and a half inches are five dollars now, which is kind of crazy. I remember when I started getting Squishmallows from Five Below, they were three dollars and fifty cents. I also picked up the Jujutsu Kaisen figure. This one is Toge, who is my favorite character. Again, sorry about the lighting here. And all the characters were outside of the box, so like you knew which one you were gonna get. But at Barnes and Noble a few weeks ago, I picked up these, which are mystery boxes, but they are the same exact thing. Same exact thing, same exact company, everything, except at Five Below, you know which one you get, and at Barnes and Noble, you don't know which one you get. So I'm gonna open these up on my TikTok. If you guys follow me on TikTok, I'm gonna open these up since I'm already out here. I'm gonna do that like next. Um, I'm curious to see who I get. I hope I get Megami um, because I didn't buy Megami, hoping that I'll get him in here, but I bought Toge because if I don't get Toge, I'd be very upset. So um, yeah, I have these to open. So I'm gonna open those on my TikTok. If anybody's curious, follow me on TikTok. That is everything that I got from Five Below this year at the Halloween drop, which I was so excited about. I can't wait to see which squish are coming out next. I talked to the manager a little bit, who is so sweet and she's always so nice to me. And it sounds like we're gonna have a few more drops before the end of the year, which is very exciting. So I love you guys. I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.